Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Friday, April 22nd, I believe. <laughs> An incredibly beautiful day. Wow, finally. Like in the mid 60s. Uh, tomorrow, it's supposed to be in the 80s. Tomorrow and Sunday. So Gail and I are going out to the cabin, gonna be working in the barn. I gotta get the rest of the tarpage up in the barn so I can start working in there and uh, work some in the cabin. So it's still there, we still work on it. It's just been so crappy and so wet and so rainy and cold. We haven't been able to get out there and do much. So I did want to bring you out here today. I'm gonna to show you something I picked up off of Facebook and try to get installed on the van, part of it. I joined this group on Facebook that deals with van campers and uh, van conversions, you know, things like that. And put some pictures up of trusty old Van White here. And a guy messaged me, my new friend now, messaged me, said he was parting out a 2008 Chevy Express which is basically the same van and had ladder racks if I was interested and the hitch off of it because I don't have a hitch on here and I said oh yeah so we met <laughs> and uh, he lives down in south of me and he was going up to north of St. Bernard Acres for an appointment and on his way back we managed to hook up and he brought the ladder racks and the hitch with him and we met and chatted for a bit and I bought them off of him. So now I'm gonna try to install the ladder racks on here because they go on the gutter. They don't drill, I don't have to drill any holes or anything, which I like about that. And it's gonna add, if I wanna do some stealth type stuff, it's gonna look more like a work van, uh, but that's where I'll mount my solar panels if I decide to go that route. So, let me show you what they are. So, inside the van, these are the ladder racks. Let me move them out of the way. There's a bolt for one of them. He's got inner tubes tied up there. Uh, because he put this on a van that he didn't want to scratch up the surface. So he had inner tubes that he put over the gutter and then put these on, which makes a lot of sense. I may wind up doing the same thing. And it looks pretty simple how they go on. Let me take them out, set them on the ground. They're not heavy. I guess they're aluminum. then I can show you the trailer hitch. It's a 10,000 pound hitch. I took one of the bolts out because I'm going to go get new bolts and maybe these new plates if I can replace them. Otherwise, I'll clean those up. Heavy, kind of, but yeah, that's it. I mean, really nice. I thought it'd be rusted and all kinds of crap, but no, nah, it's just perfect. It's exactly what I need, and it bolts right up to the holes that are already in the frame. I mean, it's just you know, 20 minute install, and I'll have a trailer hitch on here a 10,000 pound trailer hitch right down there. And then I just gotta figure out how to get the wiring. Looks like it'd be pretty easy. <laughs> Do the wiring for the uh, trailer lights. I don't need brakes. But yeah, there it is. So, I, Ed, I know you're gonna be watching this. Thank you so much, bud. These are really awesome. It's a really a stroke of luck that I ran across you. So let me get my camera set up and I'm going to try to put these, uh, you can see how I learn as I go putting these things on. 
but that's them. They look cool. I'll be back. Since these came off of a Chevy Express, I'd be pretty close to about where they should be. Tighten them down. I'm gonna run over to the other side, see if that fits in there. That, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Let me get some tools now, tighten everything up. That's exactly the width, everything they need to be. Hopefully y'all can see this. This fits underneath the gutter here. This on the other side of the gutter. And first thing I have to do is get this up high enough. I'll tighten this bolt down first. I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't think I can get the ratchet on that. No. Got to use your wrench. Now I go do the other side. I only got three more of them to do. I'll be back. All right, last one. Let me get this side tightened down. Heck yeah. There's little screws in the sides of these tubes, like to, once you get them the correct distance that you want, then you can tighten that down. Get this up. All right. Now let me make sure that the door opens. And think about that. Yeah. All right. 
So that changes the whole look of the van. I'm surprised. Makes it look like a commercial vehicle now. <laughs> so no matter where I park it, I'll throw a ladder up there for giggles. That looks like I belong there. But yeah, that worked out really well. I like how those work. I didn't use the inner tubes. I'll cut those off when I get home. But uh, yeah. And I'll tell you, one of the things I like about these, a lot of the ones I look at have round tubes running. The cross pieces are round. I like these being square. It's going to be so much easier to mount solar panels or whatever I want to mount up there. Uh, plenty of space to work underneath them. So, yeah. I'm really happy with that, Ed. Those worked out perfectly. Couldn't ask for anything better. I was going to clean them up and paint them before I put them on, but they look like they came with the van now because the van needs to be cleaned up and painted. So, uh, worked out really well. I sure like the way they look. Heck yeah. So, this is Joe with St. Bernard Acres making improvements on my camper van conversion. Remember to like, share, comment. All this is going to be in a playlist for my camper van. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be out at the barn working tomorrow. We're going to be putting up tarps. You can be sure and look for that video because that's just going to be me and Gail. Uh, see if we can make that happen. But remember to like, share, comment, do all those stupid things that you have to ask every time that you do. And let, let me know what you think about my stealthier looking van now i like them again thanks ed my new friend i'm out <laughs>